You're probably really nervous for your rental checkout that you got coming up. You probably haven't flown for a while as well, and here you are, JPL Aviations, where leadership and aviation take off. We are going to go over the information that you need to know about your rental checkout. There may be only minutes, seconds left of someone's life. Why waste time? So first, let's start off what a rental checkout is. A rental checkout is a demonstration of your skills to prove to the person that you are renting an aircraft from or the facility or whatever, you are proficient in renting their aircraft. And it's basically an insurance requirement that say, hey, he went up with an instructor, he showed that he's competent to fly this aircraft. So basically, when you go rent this aircraft from that new facility, you have to go up with the instructor and demonstrate slow flight stalls, maybe a no flap landing, you have to show your aeronautical decision making, you checklist usage, anything that shows that you are still proficient in flying an aircraft. You see, the problem is like in my position, I August 2019 was the last time I flew. And then March 20th, was the first time that I got back in an airplane in um, March 2020. So eight months went by and I hadn't flown an airplane at all because I was just busy making cash for my instrument rating. The problem is you see over those course of the eight months, I'm not current anymore. No way in hell have I ever been like so out of whack when I got into the aircraft. Say for example, if you're an athlete and you could probably relate to this, if you stop playing that sport for even like two to three weeks, you, when the second you get back on and like you're going through your motions, whatever sport you're playing or whatever, it kind of feels awkward. And the same thing happens when you're flying an aircraft. So the biggest obstacle that you're going to face is say for example, you are out of flying. You're not doing chair flying at home, which I learned the hard way. You are not spending the time learning and growing still in aviation all the time that you're potentially building cash for your flight training, you're going to show up to that checkout flight and you're not going to be as prepared as you could be like I was, I'll admit. Um, the problem was when I got to the airplane checkout, right? I was nervous as beyond heck. Here I am, you know, I, I went to the, the flight school out in Corona a week before or so just to talk to them and see what was going to be required of me um, to show up with, you know, the, the aircraft and say, I, I'm able to fly it. And what they said was, well, we're just going to go up with an instructor. We'll schedule it, you know, a week, a week out. Um, and you got to do, you know, slow flight. You got to do steep turns. You got to do three takeoffs and landings. Obviously, get yourself current again. Basic aeronautical decision making also make sure that you know some ground knowledge um, and so I was like okay whatever right um, that I should know how to do all this stuff and so basically I get to the checkout for the first time and I go up with the instructor the guy's name was Victor you guys are gonna see the video after this and it was fantastic um, I got grilled because like I wasn't as apt to flying as I thought I was. I thought I was gonna be able to get back in. It's like riding a bike. It is not like riding a bike. I wasn't chair flying at home as much as I should have. I was still saying somewhat in my knowledge. I just, uh, I passed my instrument written in January. Um, so I was definitely up keeping the knowledge, but the physical psychomotor skill area of flying, um, was definitely lost. And so I literally had to relearn how to fly the aircraft. So basically the best thing that you can do to be prepared is go over all your maneuvers. Use the FAA produced materials to make sure that you are 100% studied on how to perform those mover, maneuvers, you know? Um, you know, put the trim tab up a little bit, go to 45 degrees, make sure you put back pressure in, um, slow flight, right? When do you start putting the flaps down? How do you recover? All these little details that you're gonna need to know um, when you go to your checkout. Also, before we even got in the plane on the ground, um, he said, you know, like, do the weight and balance. And I'm like, oh God, like, I haven't done a weight and balance in forever, right? And so I was able to work my way through it, but then also you got your, your takeoff performance, you got your landing performance, all the things you would normally think about doing before a flight. He just said, boom, here you go. Do all this, here's the new numbers and just calculate it. So I spent you know, a solid 20, 25 minutes doing basic tasks that should have taken me 10 to 15 minutes because I wasn't as prepared as I could be. So before you get to your checkout flight, make sure that you are doing um, performance calculations on the ground. Make sure that you know how to basic aeronautics decision making what to do in each type of situation emergency situations before we even got in the air you know he asked me on the ground what happens if a fire occurs in the wing and I was like uh, put the mixture full rich and he was like 
oh, well, you know, your old CFI should have been fired because that should not be your immediate response. And like, I was just so overblown with information that it was hard for me to even like comprehend what was going on systematically because I hadn't been studying enough. Um, that's what happens when you go eight months without aviation. Um, and, and part of that too is, you know, my parents were like, hey, Justin, you know, like you need to go up and fly again. You've been kind of sad recently and that's probably why. And they were right. And so when I get up in the air, um, I felt a lot better afterwards. But the whole point is again, being prepared. And so I go up and fly, right? I had to, you guys will see the video. Um, I wasn't proficient with my flying. I forgot to put the flaps down in slow flight, you know, um, landing, I completely had to regain my sight picture for how that looked. Um, uh, slips, for example, I, I put the right aileron and the right rudder at the same time initially when I first started the slip. There's a lot of little details that you kind of just forget when you're in the plane and you have to think through when in reality you, they should just be already chair practice so the, that by the time you get up there every single procedure is known in your head and then you just get up there and execute it because i get it you're going to be nervous you're going to be spending you know the whole night before thinking about oh my gosh am i going to make sure all, all my procedures are correct or do i really know how to do all the groundwork again but the pro the, the point is is that that instructor that's going up with you is there to help you and get you proficient again in flying that aircraft. And so after that first time, right, he said, oh, I, I landed the plane eventually just fine. Uh, surprisingly, my first landing was a little rough, but I, I actually nailed it. So I was kind of surprised about that because I literally hadn't flown in eight months. Um, but you know, that may not be the situation for you. Um, and that's something you got to really sit there and visualize in your mind about what you're going to do when you're coming in to land on that aircraft. Um, and so two, I had to go back a second time because he was like, you know, you're, you're, you can land for sure, but you're not as proficient as I'd like you to be in order to rent this aircraft. And I was all for it, to be honest, you know, don't take that criticism and be like, oh, you know, like I, I'm a pilot, I can land a plane. Like I was hundred percent willing and accepted it because I knew not only do I, I want to be able to land and take off three times in a row, uh, proficiently, like I did on the, um, the checkout flight. I want to make sure that I can go up with friends. I can do it in a crosswind. I can do it in any type of situation that I'm put into. So that way I'm actually truly safe at flying the aircraft. So um, overall summary is make sure you have your ground knowledge done. You know how to compute all the uh, the practical information for that flight. Know how to do the procedures. Have that stuff memorized. Make sure you are chair flying as well at home before you get your checkout. Um, at least a week prior. At least a week prior. Spend 20 to 30 minutes a, um, a day set aside to chair flying and try to bring up that sight picture in your mind of how to fly. Um, and then three, be willing to take criticism because you are just getting back into aviation. Um, and I promise you it is not going to be as smooth as you think it is. So um, enjoy the video guys. This was my checkout flight in March 20th, 2020, I believe. Um, so enjoy it. JPL Aviation is where leadership and aviation take off. Corner traffic, how do you hear? Out of here. You're coming in very broken. Some guy sounded like he was a pedophile yesterday. Uh, it's like, like he was doing a porno or something. It was weird. It's like Corona traffic. Take him deactive. That's how he sounded. <laughs> On just because of the radio, or his voice was that? His crazy? voice was like that. <laughs> crazy. How did this come all the way over here? I thought I threw you back there. Alright, make sure you can try. <laughs> breakers in, make sure the throttle's good. Carp oh, flash beacon light on. Oh, timer's good. Controls, flight controls. I like this one feels a lot nicer. Yeah. <laughs> Engine, any interesting things I need to know about the, the trim for this one, or is it pretty accurate? There you go. Just a little bit higher. A little bit. Oh, both of them. Alright, bag check. Right's good. I need a copy, Caesar. It's the opposite. I copy you fine, but I you check the left and said right max good, yeah, and then you check that. the right. <laughs> you always want to check the right first, though. Because for some reason in the Cessna POH, it says check the right first. Feedback. 
Hello, as soon as I get back. Thank you, we're at Alvin Road Trim, turn five good, trims for takeoff. Rolling down the runway 700 feet below, we're going to fix up in front of us, above, we're going to turn back to the runway, rolling down, aerodynamic braking, and brakes to stop us before we... Alrighty. So, 122.7. Don't hear anybody. Final looks like it's good. Make your call. Make your call first. Corona traffic white Cessna. One, um, Corona traffic white Cessna. Seven three four Delta Tango is going to be taken to active runway two five. Closed traffic. Corona. All right window. Check. Barely climbing. Corona traffic, Cessna 964, Mike Sierra's over the Prado Dam, gonna enter the 45 for 25. Corona traffic. Airspeed's good. One, zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature, one, niner. Celsius, dew point, zero, six. Celsius, Altimeter three zero zero eight. Remarks. Corona traffic. Density altitude. Sir, that makes more sense. Thousand to the southeast, coming in for landing to Corona Municipal Corona Airport. Corona traffic white system seven three four Delta Tango is turning left crosswind for runway two five Corona. Zulu. Corona traffic four my stairs over the Prado Dam. We're looking for that traffic in front of us. Going to enter the forty five on downwind for two five Corona traffic. Volume. Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango has you in sight. Uh, we'll be coming in front of you on downwind 176. Uh, Corona, damn. So Roger, we still don't have you in sight, but uh, we're still looking. I got you in sight, four marks here. He's got us. Corona traffic, uh, Moody 1017, Charlie holding short around with 25. Corona traffic 74 Delta Tango is on downwind from a 25 close traffic chrono. Woo! Alright. Uh, corona traffic, uh, Moody 172 entering runway 25. Uh, left, uh, uh, left downwind departure, uh, Corona. Heartbeat's going on. Corona traffic, that's a uh, matter 64, my sir, is on downwind midfield, and we got the traffic on upwind in sight. Corona traffic, four down to Tango, a beam 25, Corona. Corona traffic, I'm only on some charges taking off on 25, Corona. Corona traffic 74 Delta Tango is turning left base for runway 25, Corona. Triple six Fox Lima turning left downwind runway 25, Corona. Why are some people so muted? I don't know. I put the volume up, but. Corona traffic, Cessna 5000. Cessna 7 Alpha Mike is southwest south from Paradise at 2500 crossing midfield. Matthews, uh, Corona. Corner traffic, four my Sierra is turning left base for two five. Corner traffic. I'd say we're pretty low. Corner traffic, white, uh, is white Cessna 74, Delta Tango is turning final for runway two five, Corona. Right, don't you think so? 
Uh, and so. slow as hell, too. Corona traffic, White Saratoga, five miles to the southeast, coming for there two you five. go. Corona traffic. Never want your airspeed to go below 60. Corona traffic, coming off of Mike, is directly over the field at 2,500, turning eastbound towards Lake Matthews, Corona. I don't see you at all, bro. What? This guy is directly over the field, 2,500. And along side, then 600, Corona. Uh, traffic for the single short final two five Corona. Ah. Corona traffic for my Sarah is turning final for two five corner traffic. Full power, full power, full power. Yep. Oh, uh, touch and go. Full flaps up. Good. Current traffic 74, Delta Tango is going to be doing left closed traffic, taking off on runway 25, Corona. I realized last time, because I stole that stupid John Wayne dog leg in me, that I have to extend my base a little more and then turn it and it lines me up better. So I'll show you right now, once you come around. I'll show you. I'll show you my landing. Corona traffic, white right um, circle. And then now you can three mile kind of for compare it to yours and see what you what you want to take out of it. You know what I mean? It might help. Oh, 100%. I'll take any advice I can. <laughs> so I recommend turning at 1200. Turning crosswind. Reason I do 300 below traffic pattern altitude is by the time you're on downwind, you're already at your altitude. But I don't know why we're not at 73 or 70. That's a little more like it. I feel like we got a tailwind for some reason. Lima, final. Two five, Corona. Four Mike Sierra is clear of the axes. They're going to taxi back. Corona traffic. Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango is turning the left crosswind for my 25, Corona. Corona traffic, White Saratoga is number two for two five behind the one that's almost there. Corona traffic. <laughs> behind the one that's almost there. <laughs> Out of four. So fly out a couple seconds. You're not far, this is perfect. So keep your climb though. What do you want to tell you? 3,100 climbing, that's called Corona. Start your turn. Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango's turning a left downwind for Romeo 25, Corona. All right, see, now you're already at your 1500 nose down. Bring power back to about 22. Around uh, to the Tango, it bounced to the north uh, inbound to wrong way. There you go. Lost a little bit. Huh? We're good. I just altitude. Huh? But see, the good thing here, you're at 15. Look, how much time do you have to get your pre-flight done? Not your pre-flight, I'm sorry, your before landing checklist, right? So before landing checklist, lights are on. Mixtures on both, mixtures full ridge, fuel selectors on both, power's where I want it, flaps are where I want it, I got my 1500, my 90 knots, alright, I'm looking good for my landing, pre-landing uh, pre checklist complete, or before landing checklist complete, right, now I'm looking, I'm, as soon as I come a beam, my controls, oh. my controls, so now I'm coming a beam, right, car peed on, power to 1500, 10 degrees flaps, just let the plane come down. Corona traffic, See, White Saratoga off. Just yeah, by doing that, I already got the 500 feet per minute I want. I didn't really do anything else. Corona traffic, Skyhawk 4, Delta Tango, turning left, base 25, Corona. Now you see, all I'm doing is literally just controlling that descent, making sure I'm holding that 500 feet per minute. On base, my speed's supposed to be between 75 and 80. I'm at 77. Corona, this is Cessna 1986, taking off runway 2. I was shooting for 70 and then 20 knots flaps. I mean, 20 degrees flaps. 20 out. degrees flaps. Corona traffic forward out the tango. Uh, we'll be turning final 2-5, Corona. A lot higher coming in than I was for sure. Have I touched the power? No. It's about 15. Am I on my glide slope? Yeah. 500 feet per minute. 
30 degrees flaps. Do I have the runway made? Yeah. Power idle. You're touching go? Yep. Corona traffic, Cessna 77041, we're lining up on 25 behind landing traffic. Corona. Corona traffic, 4 Delta Tango, up 125, Corona. Corona, Cessna 1986, left cross lane, runway 25, Corona. Corona traffic, 4 Delta Tango, extending upwind for uh, crosswind traffic. Corona traffic, Cessna 77041, uh, departing runway 25, this yeah. will be a left downwind departure, Corona. Just extend. Give him his space. We don't turn until he passes us a beam. Count to two seconds, no and one then you can start your turn. Left downwind, runway two five, Corona. So see, now he's passed us. We're going to 1200 anyways. So now he's going to pass us. You want to count one, two, and then now you're safe. So that way if you're on a base lake, for example, and before you turn base, make sure he's already passed you, you know what I mean? 453 is over the route center, turning on 45, runway 25. Current traffic 74, Delta Tango is turning left, crossing for runway 25, Corona. I got him in sight. Corona traffic, four Delta Tango. Uh, we got traffic entering on the 45. We're turning downwind. We'll uh, go into slow flight for you here until you uh, join in. We'll come behind you. Uh, Roger, I have you in sight, Dan. Thank you. I'll speed it up. Appreciate that. At Corona, turning over the tracks so or downwind for 25. Uh, Corona says on 1986, left base, runway 25, Corona. Corona traffic 77041, crosswind 25, Corona. Uh, Corona traffic says 964 is on upload and got the trafficking crosswind in sight. Corona traffic. Uh, one, where'd the second guy go? It's right there. 11 o'clock. 11 to 12. I see the guy on base. Uh, there's the guy on downwind I'm looking for. The guy is on base, and then the other guy on downwind's right on top of him. Oh, yeah, I see, I see it. I see him now. He's close. Yeah. We're on a traffic 77041, turning downwind, and uh, we'll be departing the area. Corona. Corona, there's no 1986. We're going go, oh, go around. Corona. Corona traffic, 40453, is turning left base, just outside of Smith Street, for 25, I have the traffic going around. Corona traffic, for my Sarah's on left crosswind, going to depart on downwind to Lake Matthews, corner traffic. Corona traffic, 4 Delta Tango, extending downwind for landing traffic. On traffic, port through 453, short final, 25, Corona. Oh, wait, so short final then. Alright, cool. Corner traffic 74, Delta Tango is turning left base for a minute, 25, Corona. Alright, so we're going to go fit. Oh, but it thinks since we're far out. But 10 degrees at least. You're not too bad. Corona says on 1986. Keep it at 15. Keep it at 15. Oh, 15. Yep. 
You're pretty chill, don't worry. We're on a traffic 77041, uh, we're about a mile west on the 9115 interchange and uh, departing the area along the 91, 2,000 feet and climbing, Corona. Current traffic 74, Delta Tango is going to be turning final for runway 25, Corona. Uh, see, the, I didn't extend far enough, and then I get this freaking angle in. What's that? Oh no, one I didn't extend my face far enough, so I get this stupid angle coming in. You're, you're, you're still fine. You should have just went a little bit more, but you're still fine. Because you don't want to go over these houses anyways, because there's a noise abatement here on these houses. Even when we take off runway 7, keep it. Keep it. You already put it down, keep it down. You know what I mean? Just add more power if you want more power. This is the area of reverse command. If you want altitude, power, right? You want airspeed, nose down. Make sense? There you go. Power idle? It is. Cool. Straighten it out. Straight, 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 straight. Pull back, slowly. Hold it. Pull. There you go. If we can't make this one, screw it. We'll make the next one. 1986, left base, runway 25, Corona. We still want to try to make one of them, though. <laughs> I was having a little anxiety about the brakes. <laughs> I don't know how hard to press them. <laughs> Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango is clear of the active 25, Corona. Put your finger there. You see the distance? Huh? That means it's, that's that's where the um, ground lean is, right? Okay. How's it feeling? Ah, uh, terrible. What's going on? Uh, my airspeed just can't get it right. Try right when you're a beam, just bring your power back to 1500, leave it there, and then bring your flaps down 10 degrees at a time. Got it, thanks. Everybody's got something to learn from, that's for sure. There's a slight crosswind too, but you're cool, you got this. Jackson back, or Corona? One more. Okay. What are you supposed to turn off? How about them apples? Our beat on the ground. Not needed. Corona says no one nine or eighty six left crosswind runway two five Corona. This gets really busy. John Wayne, it's organized. Yeah. <laughs> it's organized busy. You guys good? Corona says on one nine eight eight six, left downwind, runway two five, Corona. He's just saying hi. Corona traffic, go to 6700 Charlie, 2 miles southwest, 2500, heading southbound, Corona. Where did he say it was? I have no idea. That's south, he said it's heading southbound. Over... 886, are you on down one? I'm on that way. Roger, we'll wait for you.
you mind if we wait for him? Because he's a student, student pilot solo. And this is his third go around. Oh. <laughs> Going to traffic set to 964 my Sierra. It's going to transition south of the field and follow the 71 back to bracket. Going to traffic. All right, so he's just transitioning. Corona, 198 A6, left base, runway 25, Corona. Set it up. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yo, Air Force Base. Then if you want, if you hold clear, it just clears everything out. And then see right there, the different like notches. That's all with the outside one. Right? That's all under nav. If you switch with the big one, then it gives you the waypoints. Get it? Waypoint. Is that auxiliary? The your nearest locations. Niner 86, final, runway 25, Corona. Oh, this is looking good. Confidence, woo! Right. Power idle, you got this. Got it. Beautiful landing. Skyhawk 4 Delta Tango taking the active 2 5 for left close traffic. Going to traffic, Cessna 964, Mike Sierra is over the Prado Dam. Going to head back to bracket it, following the 7 1 freeway. I say come around and do another one. Go for it. Very nice, 886. Thanks. That was a nice short field. Very nice short field. Forward. Uh, 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 uh. Not yet. So you do lower it, okay? You lower your nose, right? But you don't immediately Corona take the flaps up. Airspeed. You lower your nose, get your airspeed up, get a positive rate of climb, and then take your flaps up. Because what that's going to do is it won't give you that sink, right? Because what if you're just barely over that 50 foot obstacle and you do that and you sink that 50 feet, you just fucked yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, we had 600 on the... Vehicle. But your airspeed was super low. Uh, your airspeed was like 50 knots, 52 knots, right? So wait a second after I lower the nose. Exactly. Wait until your airspeed comes up to like 65 at least and then take that flaps up. Okay. Cool? Cool. The little things. Yeah, but, I mean, they help out in the future, you know what I mean? Corona says no, one nine eighty six. Taking off runway 25, left close traffic. Corona. Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango, turning left crosswind for runway 25, Corona. Corona traffic 747, Romeo November is upwind 25, has crosswind traffic inside. Yeah. There he is. About a good time. Think so? Maybe. Can I say again. That's about a good time to turn. Corona traffic 74 Delta Tango is turning left downwind for runway 25 Corona. I was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through, then you start to. Uh, uh. All 
All right, so now you're at your altitude. Bring power 22. Corona traffic 742. Twenty-two. Members upwind over Prado Dam. Uh, there you westbound go. last call, Corona. Yeah, I like to be a little bit farther out that way on the strut. It's like got to be halfway up your strut. So if, if your runway is halfway up your strut, that means you are perfect distance away from it. Okay. The only thing you're doing is you're cutting in your base leg a little too short. So wait on downwind. Make sure you're exactly 45 from the, from your touchdown point, and then make your base. Corona says no one nine eighty six left cross lane runway two. All right. Corona. Beautiful. Let it come down. Game 45. Current traffic 74 Delta Tango is turning left base for only 25 Corona. Corona says no one nine eighty six left downwind for only 25 Corona. Seventy-five, seventy-eight. Wait, the homes. Current traffic seventy-four Delta Tango is turning final for only two-five Corona. Good, you're good. Keep it coming down. No, oh, red on white, you're clear. As long as you maintain that 500 foot per minute descent, you'll keep that red and white. Alright, you got the runway made. Cut the power. Corona says no one nine eighty six left base runway two five Corona. Make it level with the ground. Make it level with the ground. There you go, and just let it settle down, and then pull back. Cool. Perfect. Up. And now. You don't gotta do it all when you're on the runway, you can wait till you get out. Corona Traffic 74 Delta Tango is clear to act 5 Corona. Corona says on 198.86, all final, run with 25 Corona. I appreciate it. All the insights are good. Oh, don't worry about it, man. You want to do one last one, or sure. you want to call it? I'm good. I want to do another one. All right. I'll keep flying if I can. <laughs> Let's do a, I'm going to come in high on purpose on this one and I'll slip. Sweet. Work on that. Nice. Thanks. No pressure, you're <laughs> watching. <laughs> already at 50 knots. <laughs> Freaking old warplanes, man. Foxtrot Lima, you ready to go? Uh, negatory, go for it. Roger, thank you. That's the guy with the deep-ass voice.
Go for it. <laughs> uh, traffic, uh, Life 117 Charlie is uh, 3.5 miles to the northwest, uh, coming down the uh, oh, highway here along the foothills. We're going to maneuver to the 45 in our left traffic, 25, landing full stop, Corona. 74 Delta Tango is taking the active 25 for close traffic, Corona. Corona traffic, uh, consumer in yellow, just took off uh, 25 straight out of the Berkshire, last call. Corona traffic. I believe I can fly. Rotate. Hold it right there. Current traffic light support uh, is over the saddle dam at 2,000, I'm sorry, 1,800 feet. Maneuvering to the 45 for left traffic 25, full stop Corona. Oh, Sam, got him on the right though. That's the upward traffic he's leaving. Yeah, yeah. But this guy's entering the pattern. That's what I'm trying to look for. I'm just saying. But is he talking about this dam or that dam? The Prado, right? Yeah. I'm assuming that, because that's on the sectional. Alright, well, we turned 1200 anyway, right so... No, just kidding, that's not him. No, it's not him. <laughs> He's way too high. Are you ready? Six, Fox, Lima. Oh, found him. Uh, one, uh, 11 o'clock. Got him. This way. See him? Downwind traffic, 734, don't think I have you in sight. We'll follow behind you, Corona. Uh, no, I hope you come behind us. Ground traffic light supports over the foothills of Ralph Shopping Center, uh, maneuvering to the 45 at 2,000 feet. They'll be behind us. That's not one nine or 86, taking off runway 25, left close traffic, Corona. Ground traffic 734 Delta Tango, uh, left base 25, Corona, uh, sorry, left crosswind 25, Corona. He's still gonna maneuver, enter on the 45, right? So he's going to be following us. Okay. Five five one Juliet Alpha turning right base runway two two Catalina. Crow traffic seven three four Delta Tango is turning left downwind for only two five Corona. That makes sense. I thought he was just going to join the downwind. See, he's right there. He's coming towards us right now. Crow traffic lights four one seven Charlie is uh, turning on a forty five. Got the downwind traffic in sight. Uh, maneuvering to the downwind uh, for a full stop on 25, Corona. Roger, we got you in sight, 734, that's the I can't see him since yet. I got him. We're a beam. Ten degrees. Corona says no one. Oh, you want to do left slip. off land wrong way two five Corona. So slow yourself down. One seven Charlie turning downwind over the tracks. We're two five full stop Corona. Corona traffic seventy four Delta Tango turning left base for way two five Corona. You're not going to be high. Left down with runway 2, uh, runway 2. Here, I'll make you high. Your controls? Controls. Current traffic 734, Delta Tango is turning left. Uh, turning final for runway 25, Corona. Time you slip though, power is idle. Okay. Yeah. Because the whole purpose.
purpose of the slip? Get it. Just to not gain airspeed. So let's do this. Now slip. Corona says on 19 air 86, left base runway 25, Corona. Corona traffic, Skyhawk 756 and Golf, we're over the 9115, interchange 2500. We're going to swing south of the airport along the foothills and enter the downwind on the 45, Corona. Corona traffic, landing checklist complete. Corona traffic 74, Delta Tango is clear, they're active, 25, Corona. So you let yourself get way, way too fast. You know what I mean? I thought your speed didn't matter as much in the slip as long as you were able to control it when you got more towards the. But you it, slipped high and then came and then it controlled it down and then. But here's the thing though if your airspeed is like 80 knots in the slip and you come straighten it out, your airspeed's going to increase to 90. Final right? runway two five because the reason it's not gaining that much airspeed is because you're not coming down like this, you're coming down like that. Right? So with doing that, Charlie is clearly active. I was thinking forward slip. It's the same. So the only the only difference is when you're coming down and you're slipping the plane, right? Your pedal tube is not reading the accurate airspeed because it's sideways. Correct. So once you straighten out the Turn nose, the your pedal tube is going to start reading correctly. So then you'll be getting, you'll, you'll finally get a higher airspeed than you ever expected. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because it was sideways, and now all that ram air is coming in. So you'll end up being faster. Now tell me what's going to happen when you're on short final and you're at 80 knots. Oh, you're too fast. We're going to freaking keep going all the way to the end of the runway like we did, you know what I mean? Yeah. Until we get that airspeed, until the plane wants to actually settle down. And Corona traffic, Skyhawk 756 on Golf is on the 45 entry for left down in 225 Corona. Are you doing slips the lands from downwind? What's that? You slips the lands from downwind? Yeah. Have you ever done it? That's that's like what the experience I have. So that's what I was talking about. Kind of just like I, I like I have a hard time Corona explaining traffic, it. Corona traffic, Cherokee six nine eight one five. That's kind of what I was Santa doing. Canyon directly uh, above ninety one two thousand inbound left traffic two five Corona. Oh, next one. I'm also trying to recollect everything that I've. <laughs> It'll come back. Don't worry. I just remember coming in, we were really high, and then we would slip about like 200 feet above the runway, get ourselves aligned, and then come in. That's yeah. what I was like thinking. But at, but your your airspeed the whole way through was pretty fast. You know what I mean? Because when you first did your slip, you still had power in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the first thing you do is pull the power out, and then go, and that makes Exactly. Sense. So it ended up making you a little bit faster. What the hell are you guys doing, bro? Corona traffic, Cherokee 69815, just approaching the Prado Dam, 1,800, inbound left traffic, 25, Corona. Corona traffic, Skyhawk 756 on Golf is on left base runway 25. We're going to be a full stop taxi back, Corona. Alright, so before you do this, we Corona don't have an avionics switch. So what are we going to do? So turn it left traffic no. 25, Corona. Nope. Volume power. Yep. Top one all the way. <laughs> 